Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Dungeons and Dragons Dark Alliance video. Well, we have a brand new update, ladies and gentlemen. These are the patch notes, update 1.05. So if at any given time you found this video helpful or just a little bit entertaining, please by all means follow, like, and subscribe on all social media platforms, but especially right here on YouTube. It really does help these videos get out there in the YouTube algorithm and maybe get back more into more giveaways. Right now, I have one going for New World. Links down below in the description for that open beta code. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna hop right into it. We have quite a few changes, ladies and gentlemen. Some good, some bad, some nerfs, and some fixes. Under general, they fixed the infinite loading after the total party wipe during a boss fight. That's a good thing. Fix the issue where players would disconnect after rejoining an existing session. Fix the issue where quest items could not be collected immediately after being dropped in multiplayer improvements to AI responsiveness. Most enemies now react faster at the start of combat and quickly turn to face the players. However, certain enemies are still slow to take action once they notice players. This is actively being worked on. They also have stability improvements. Fix animation and attacks that were out of sync and moves and selected difficulty can now be viewed during a mission. Large enemies are now harder to stagger, although some still can be staggered in certain situations. Stamina drain on Drizzt's moves have been reduced. Fix the issue where players remain stuck outside the magic barriers when a boss fight was triggered. Fix the issue where Garn's mirror image phantoms could spawn outside the arena. And fix the issue in Crystalline Dreams Act 2 where it was possible to fall through the map. Also fixed a visual issue in Verbeez Jamboree Act 1 where the explosive barrel socket would appear prematurely. Also added missing plus symbol to critical chance sub stats. For balance changes, for monsters, uh, stone grinder, this is a good one. Reduce health and damage and increased armor. Eh, a little yin and yang. Abomination reduced armor and damage. Hell Raider. Slightly reduced damage and trolls reduced regeneration rate. Kelvin greatly increased health. So, okay, okay. General Gregaeus slightly decreased health. So, a little bit of mixture right there. For the loot, remove the chance of getting extra usables dropping from small chests. That's a little bit of a nerf. All right, uh, gear sets and feats. Underdark camo reduced chance to apply poison. For progressing, they rebalance experience to impact the early game. Some players were progressing from levels 1 to 5 plus after just one mission of play. The update smooths out progression to reduce the scenarios where players gain experience and early levels so quickly. So basically, they are nerfing the XP, which is sad to hear. For challenge rating, the following only affects CR 5 and greater. So that's challenge rating 5 and greater. They greatly increased the monster condition resistance and condition penetration armor and elemental resistance, increased monster damage, increased monster health, and increased hazard damage. So they made it harder at end game and they nerfed XP to make it a little bit more of a grind. For buffs and debuffs, they greatly reduce effectiveness of weakened, cursed, and powerful strikes. And for gear, reduce the amount of maximum stamina and stamina cost reduction received from gear and stamina regeneration can no longer be rolled twice on gear. Now, that is the past notes, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of uh, yin and yang. We got some nerfs, we got some fixes, and we got a little bit of more nerfs and some more fixes. So we're gonna have to see how this plays out in game. But for right now, that's pretty much going in for the video. Hope you truly enjoyed it. Once again, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo Gaming. Upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to have a giveaway going for New World Open Beta. Links down below in the description. You hope watching these videos made to give back more and do more giveaways. So once again, thank you, the people that have been supporting the channel for all your love and your support, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.